Hello everyone. My name is Adhiraj Singh Panag and I am a four year classroom student of Agash Institute. For two years I studied in foundation and two years I prepared for NEET UG in Akash. When I was in class 9th, I saw the results of Akash students in the newspaper and I thought that for my preparation I should join Akash Institute. I studied in foundation batch for two years and found the environment to be very nurturing. There was not any toxic competition like there is in many other institutes and I found it a very pleasant place to study. And the teachers in foundation were also very good. They taught many extra concepts and I believe that most of my 11th preparation was also done in class 9th and 10th only. After completing my 10th, I gave the Anthe scholarship exam, which is a very prestigious examination given by lakhs of students across the country. And I got a very good rank in it. After my Anthe examination, on the basis of my rank, I got a 100% scholarship for class 11th and 12th in Akash Institute. So I joined Akash for my new UG preparation. The teachers in class 11th and 12th were also very good. Whenever I faced any doubts, they were there to clear it up for me. Not only academic problems, I could go with any problem that I faced. Whenever I was feeling demotivated, whenever I was confused about how should I go about my studies, I could approach my teachers and they would put me on the right path. It was a very good experience. And after I uh, passed my 10th, I approached my parents that I want to study biology. And both of them, even though they are engineers, they were very happy for me. They said that you should follow your dream and you should pursue a career that makes you happy and give a 100% effort for it. They said that being a doctor is a very noble profession and you should always try to serve your community and help the people around you. And since then, I have had a dream a dream to study in Ames, Delhi, to pursue my MBBS from one of the top colleges in India. And that is how my love for biology came to be. My preparation strategy was pretty simple. Uh, it was to take every day on its own. Every day I had my classes and at the end of my classes I used to ask the doubts from the teachers. Every day it was my belief that same day doubts should be asked on the same day. The teachers also never refused. Uh, they were very happy to answer all my doubts. And after my classes, I went home and I studied. I used to have a simple goal. What has been taught today should be studied today. So I, uh, I followed the strategy throughout the years and I prepared for every test for AITS, for FT, for CT. For all the tests, I used to prepare by this very strategy. And I scored very well in all of them. And when I started giving these tests, uh, I realized two or three things. First of all, I realized that NCRT is the Bible for NEET. If you want to succeed in NEET preparation, you need to study NCRT multiple times. I used to study NCRT whenever I had the time. And another thing that was made clear to me by these tests was equal weightage should be given to the preparation of physics, chemistry and biology. Another thing that I used to do was I used to set achievable short-term goals. Every student faces many challenges throughout his or her need journey. Uh, one of the most common uh, problem that I hear students face is that when you move from class 10th to class 11th, the syllabus becomes very vast all of a sudden. Even as I went through class 11th and 12th, there were many moments when my scores dipped, when I faced a lot of demotivation, a lot of stress. But my teachers were always there to guide me to uh, help me uh, figure out my mistakes and to help me work on them. And I would like to say that this two-year journey, it is not a 100-meter sprint, it is like a marathon. I used to take breaks while studying. My normal sitting was around two to two and a half hours. And after each sitting, I would, I would go to my parents and I would talk. I would listen to some music to refresh my mind. And after my mind was calm and I knew that I could uh, focus again, I used to start studying again. My advice for NEET aspirants is quite simple. Uh, be happy while you're studying and you'll be happy after the result. It is very important that you don't stress yourself while studying. If your marks get low, uh, you shouldn't be depressed. You should just focus on the mistakes and make sure that they don't happen again. Another thing that I would suggest for the students is don't miss your classes and don't miss your tests. Another thing that I'd like to say is stay away from social media. And one last piece of advice, don't forget to focus on NCRT. NCRT is the basis upon which NEET examination is built. If you don't focus on NCRT, you will not be able to succeed. And thank you and all the best.